Hello! Welcome to this Phoenix tutorial by CDP Inc. I'm Matthew Donnelly and today we'll be looking at importing and exporting data in Phoenix. Let's get started. If we open up our Phoenix 5 application, you'll be met with this start screen which shows your recent projects here on the left. And on the right hand side we can create new project, we can open a existing Phoenix schedule, or we can import a project. And the options we have here are Primavera P6XER, Primavera 3.1, SureTrack, Microsoft Project XML, MPX, Excel, and CSV. Our first import option we're going to look at is the Primavera XER format. If we select that in the Import Project dialog box, we'll be taken to our Windows folder structure where we can choose our P6XER file open it. Phoenix is going to load and open that project now imported with our list of activities on the left, our Gantt chart on the right. If we scroll it over we'll be able to see our activities that are occurring. We can choose to activate our WBS activity codes and they'll populate there as well as you can see the relationship lines that are pre-populated from the XER file as well. The next type of import we're going to talk about is going to be our SureTrack import. And we need to make sure we have our folder of P3 concentric files. Here you can see I have that in my Windows structure. And if I open it up, you can see all of my P3 file types. To actually import the SureTrack project, we need to go to the Import Project and SureTrack. Where then we need to come up and choose the browse button at the top right, which will enable us to find our project folder. And we can select that, and it's going to populate all of the available SureTrack projects for us to import. And for now, we're just going to choose the first one, our project name of Apex. And when we hit import, it's going to download and give you a success and we can choose OK and it should populate on your screen. Your project is now imported into Phoenix. Now another really neat thing about importing SureTrack projects into Phoenix is that once we choose our SureTrack project folder, if there are multiple available projects you can highlight them using a shift click or a control click come down and choose to bulk import and then we need to choose a folder to save these two and once we do that we can choose to import and it's going to go through the import process and it should say success for both and you may have noticed behind the scenes my windows folder now has the apex plant expansion project in phoenix file format. The next type of import we'll touch on is Microsoft Project XML importing it into our Phoenix application. So we can select this option and again it's going to take us into our Windows folder structure where then we can find our Project XML file. We can open it up and again Phoenix is going to take all of that project information. You see here our activity list on the left we've got our codes at the top that we can toggle on again this is all specified from our project file and again those relationships are in there as well the last type of import I want to touch on is Excel spreadsheet and again you can import that directly from your Phoenix start menu or I want to show you that we can also import inside of a Phoenix project using the tools system menu up top we can go down to import and again, there is our Excel where we just select that, find our Excel spreadsheet in our Windows file structure, and we can open up that Excel spreadsheet, and it's going to create a new project for us based on our Excel values. So now that we've gone over how to import projects into Phoenix, we can look at how to export. And again, it's going to be located in our Tools system menu under the Export dropdown where we can choose our file type, for instance, SDEF. 
And when we open it up, we have to fill in the required fields here, project identifier, the contract number, as well as the contractor name. And then here in the middle for our activity code mapping, we can use this drop down here in the middle to specify a option and what WBS level to add it to. And you'll see here that we now map our activity code to that SDEF code field. Once we export that file as an SDEF, you'll see it populate in your Windows folder structure as a text document where we can then open it up and you see here you have your SDEF file of your Phoenix project. Another feature of the export in Phoenix is going to be the capability of exporting to Excel. And again, all we need to do is locate that in our Windows folder and save it. Once our project is exported into a spreadsheet format, you're going to see a variety of columns, all of these available to you in Phoenix. And you are able to alter these, edit them, move them around, color coordinate anything, change the values in these columns, update your spreadsheet, and then import it back in to create a new project in Phoenix. As always, thanks for watching. You can find our website and further videos at www.cdp-inc.com. We'd love to hear from you. Please reach out to our email or phone number and connect with CDP Inc. on LinkedIn. See you in the next video.